Okay. All right. You giving the intro? All right. Here we go. Let's straighten this out. What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Um, all right. Welcome to Brewing with Bobby and Minka. Um, it's Friday. I lose track of the days these days. I got my co-captain here as always, Minka. She's wearing her red scarf. And um, today we are going to, um, yeah, okay, you want a treat? All right, so today we're going to do a demi toss Classic um, Latte from um, a couple years ago when we had the Pistachio Rose Latte. And that is, um, I figured it out two different ways. This was a special request. A special request. Um, so we're gonna do, yes, okay. We're gonna do that today uh, per someone's request. So we are going to get that going in a few minutes. I'm gonna let some more people join. Um, in the meantime, just wanted to throw out some, some shout outs and some, uh, hey Ron, what's going on? I'm gonna send out some shout outs and um, little updates. Um, in case you were wondering, Santa Monica is still up and running every day from eight to three. So if you're bored and wanna get a, a blast of that cool ocean breeze, come on down to Santa Monica and, and enjoy a latte. Okay, calm down. Um, and then also there are some other of our wholesale partners that are still open, trying to keep the lights on. And given that uh, government funding is completely dried out, we're trying to do everything we can to, to stay in business. So um, Found Coffee, and I have a special update about Found today. Um, Confidential Coffee, Cafe Aficionado, Yanks Coffee, uh, Yanks Kitchen, Constellation, Reverent. Um, please visit these places. They're, they're, all, they're all hustling and trying to do what they can to ensure that there's specialty coffee after this crisis is over. So yeah, you're doing your bit too. We know, we know. Um, so I wanted to send a little uh, shout out and some love to Found Coffee. We are doing a collaboration coffee with them. Um, we sourced a super incredible Costa Rican coffee, a black honey process. I mean, this is like fruit juice. It's pretty incredible. Um, all the proceeds from this coffee, from any coffee sales of this coffee are going to charities that Found Coffee is selected. Um, so hit their website up for their details. But this is, um, this is a very special thing we're doing with them. So literally every penny you spend on this is going straight to charities that are doing really good work uh, for people affected by COVID-19. So again, this is the, um, if you go on our website, you'll see it's the Found La Pastoria uh, Costa Rican coffee. Definitely order some of this stuff. It is fantastic. Um, it's a very special coffee and we decided to just sell it and give all the money away to um, local charities that Found has picked out. So support your local coffee roasters while also supporting um, local charities. So, um, and this is also, uh, it's also their five year anniversary. So it's kind of like a, a five year anniversary party for them while we get to do some, uh, something special for them. So again, uh, found La Pastoria Costa Rica, buy yourself a bag and we will definitely send all that money to, um, to local people for, on behalf of found. All right. With that preamble set, we're going to do pistachio rose lattes today. Um, so I prepped this two different ways. One of the ways I've actually tried and, uh, hi, okay, okay, you little devil. Um, so one of these ways I've tried and I can tell you it's really good. The other way I prepped last night. Uh, so we're gonna see if it's any good today uh, together. Uh, so I'm gonna start by making some honey rose syrup before we do anything else. So let's get that going here. Um, I'm gonna heat up some water, let's do it. So in the cafe, we used to um, make a pistachio, um, a pistachio paste, some espresso in there, and then we would add a little bit of um, rose water on top uh, and steam milk. Now we can't do that at home because A, we don't have an espresso machine, although we're gonna do some AeroPress espresso in a second, but also B, um, well B, we can't, um, we don't have anywhere to steam milk. So we're gonna heat up some milk, we're gonna, do, we're gonna go through all the phases. So, uh, pug, 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 that's right. She's so bossy today. Um, so while the, the water's heating up, we're gonna get our um, pistachio ro uh, honey syrup prep. So I like to use um, honey powder because that's what I have at home, but if you have uh, whatever you have at home, use honey, uh, but the, the recipe is gonna be about the same. So we're going to use, let's see, 60 grams of honey. Hi, I see you. 
Okay, okay. You are so bossy today. All right, so we got 60 grams of honey. We're gonna cut that with 30 grams of hot water and 30 grams of rose water. So let's do some rose water here. And then I'm gonna put in one gram of cardamom powder. But you can do cardamom to taste. Just be careful with cardamom. It's strong. You don't need a lot to get that um, to get that to get that flavor really going here. Um, cardamom is very aromatic, especially once we add the hot water to it. Um, so that should be going good. The other thing you want to get ready ahead of time, and I'll put the recipe on there. You're gonna to want to get pistachio milk made. This is super easy to make. You literally just take, you know, soak your pistachios overnight. You're gonna hit it with. Um, you know, you're gonna strain it, hit it with water, and just blend it, and then strain it through a nut bag or some cheesecloth, and then you have pistachio milk. So instead of using a pistachio paste, we're gonna use pistachio milk uh, as as the as where we get the pistachio flavor from. So, um, water's almost there. The other thing that I did, so so the first way we're gonna do it is we're going to use pistachio milk. We're gonna heat that up. We're gonna pull a shot of Aeros Aeropress espresso in there, and I just remembered I don't have the coffee ready yet. Dude, chill out. Um, and then the second way we prepped it, which I haven't experimented with yet, is we're going to, I soaked, so I used our, our old um, cold brew, uh, milk cold brew recipe, but instead of using regular milk, I put pistachio milk in there and I soaked the coffee in the pistachio milk. We're gonna strain that out and see if that's any good and then add the syrup to it. Um, and I finally got a French press, so we're gonna use that as our strain. So let me do that real fast. And we'll, we'll, we'll cover all this in a bit. Um, but I used a six to one ratio of coffee to pistachio milk, just because the pistachio milk's a bit a bit thinner, so you, I think you get more of the coffee, but we'll find out. We will find out in a second. Um, so that's two ways of making this drink, which I'm, I'm pretty excited about. I tried this way and it's really good. Um, it's kind of different than what we were serving in the cafe, but it's still pretty, it's pretty tasty. Um, all right, I'm gonna go grind some coffee. I'll be right back. She's gonna keep you entertained. All right, so we got our coffee, we got our AeroPress. We got our honey syrup getting made, and we're gonna get all this stuff going in a split second here. I know, I see you. For the actual drink itself, I like to use about four ounces of the pistachio milk. And we're gonna heat that up and use that as our milk. I wish I had a steamer, I think that'd be super cool. Um, and unfortunately, I do not have a fancy espresso machine at home, so the microwave will have to do. This is really tasty, by the way. I would definitely recommend making pistachio milk at home and just making all kinds of drinks with it. It's a lot of, um, it's a lot of flavor and it's super easy to make. All right, throw it in here for about a minute. I legit don't know what I would do without a microwave these days. All right, so for the shot. I'm gonna add here, we're gonna add uh, 30 grams of hot water to this. And just dissolve everything. In the meantime, I'm gonna add, hi. I'm gonna add uh, 50 grams of hot water to the AeroPress. Okay, okay. And start the timer for a minute and then we're gonna press that out. Um, and if you wanna know how to make AeroPress espresso, we did a whole thing on it um, a few episodes back, so go, go look at our blog. And we also now are putting this all on YouTube. What kind of kettle is that? We are doing, uh, we are using a Fellow kettle. Fellow makes all fantastic products, um, and that is definitely your Kaya Pearl Nelson. Um, all right, so we got our honey dissolving with the water and the rose, uh, with water, hot water and rose water. We got our AeroPress espresso brewing here, and we got our uh, steamed milk going here as well. So, hi. Okay, you want a treat? 
so bossy. And I thought my baristas were bossy. All right. Um, yeah, the stag kettles are fantastic. Fellow makes some great products. They also make the little AeroPress attachment that I'm using here to make espresso out of. So um, I, I, I heartily recommend them. We sell the kettles on our website if you want to buy one. We don't sell the AeroPress attachments yet, but I'm thinking after plugging it like week after week for home espresso use, I'm going to have to. Uh, but you can get them on their website. It's pretty fantastic stuff. Oh, that's good. All right, so I got my hot pistachio milk. I got the AeroPress ready to press, so we're gonna press this out. Man, hi. Okay, can I press this first? That makes a miserable sound. All right, so we got our espresso, our fake espresso. I'm gonna add some milk, some of the steamed pistachio milk in here, just like at the cafe. And then I'm gonna add about an ounce, an ounce of the um, honey rose water cardamom syrup, which is honestly, you can put this in your tea, put this in your coffee. What does that do? What does what do? Gotta be specific with these questions, yo. Um, all right, we're gonna add an ounce of the syrup. And give it a little stir. And you can see it's got, it's got the same sort of, you know, I wish we could get some latte art going. We cannot, the press, the, it's an arrow press um, with, a, with a little, um, it's a fellow attachment that gives you more of an espresso-y um, shot coming out of the arrow press. This is really good. Um, you get the pistachio, really comes through. Um, and you can add more sugar, less sugar, uh, less syrup rather, if you wanted more rose or less rose. But you definitely taste the rose, you taste the cardamom. This is fantastic. I'm gonna drink this all day on this cold, clammy day in LA. Uh, so that's one way to do this. The second way is going to be, we're gonna press the cold brew. So I threw in uh, pistachio milk and coffee and I'll put the recipe on our blog. Uh, thank you. Say thank you, Minka. Um, and I just soaked it overnight using the same method as we did for making um, milk cold brew. Uh, so this is pistachio milk cold brew. We're gonna press this out. I have no idea if this is any good or not. You guys are gonna be my guinea pigs with me. Um, so this is the second method. So you can see this is richer, thicker. Um, probably wanna cut this over some ice if you wanna keep it cold or if you wanna heat it up, put it over a stove top. And then we're going to um, add some of the syrup that we just made. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I wanna see if it's sweet. So we're gonna do an ounce and a half here. Cheers. Hey, Soul Day, how's it going? Um, this is fantastic. Wow, okay, so this is a lot thicker. The coffee comes through a lot more. Um, you're still getting the pistachio notes and you're definitely still getting the cardamom rose and honey sweetness out of this. Between the two methods, I didn't think I was gonna like this that much. This is probably somewhat tastier and a lot easier to execute, especially once you've made the pistachio milk. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised. I thought this was gonna be inferior to the, the AeroPress Espresso, but this is, if you want more coffee flavor in your, in your um, rose latte, uh, your pistachio rose latte, this is the way to go. This, this really, the coffee's really coming through here and it's not bitter at all. Um, that's a little less uh, coffee-ish. Um, and that's probably just a function of this has been soaking in coffee overnight and we just pulled a, a fake shot of espresso using an AeroPress into, into that. So um, two different ways of making this drink that we served at our cafe and totally different from the way we made it at the cafe. Um, she approves. I think this is this is very tasty. Um, I would definitely recommend going with this method if you want to if you want more coffee flavor though. That's that's a pretty special. I'm I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay, okay. Here's your last one. Um, so if anyone has any questions, fire fire away. I'll put this on our blog. Um, we are saving these um, and putting them on our YouTube channel. I forgot we even had a YouTube channel until last week. So we've been uploading all of these tutorials onto the YouTube channel. So check that out. Um, we'll put the recipes 
uh, for these on our blog if you want the details or just you know slide some slide into our dms shoot us a message we are always um hi we are always open to, to suggestions we are also going to be doing like a special uh, edition of this with a chef she's going to show you how to cook with coffee and tea um what's the pistachio ratio for the pistachio milk good question we're going to um, talk about that in our blog but it's six to one just like with the uh, cold brew milk by weight um what is your favorite coffee drink my favorite coffee drink um, these days is just making a hot cup of coffee at home um, i'm a black coffee guy but in terms of coffee drinks um this might actually be one of my favorites that we make um i'm always partial to the black sesame latte we had a while ago um we're trying to get black sesame paste is, is uh it, it, it just stains everything, so I don't make it at home very often. Um, this is really good. Oh my goodness. Um, hi. Um, anyone else have any other questions? Fire away. Um, otherwise, we're always looking for more suggestions of what people want us to make. Um, I know we have a couple more requests in the pipeline. We're going to do um, a latte in a French press, and um, someone wanted us to make the orange thyme cardamom latte, which is Probably the most popular latte we've ever invented. Hi. Um, so we're uh, we're all about um, getting customer feedback and giving us suggestions. And you know, if you guys want us to do something, definitely shoot us a message. If there's if you have a bunch of you know random things in your fridge and you want to learn how to make a latte out of it, fire away. I'll figure something out. I've done it all by now. Um, and I'm gonna plug Fountain Coffee one last time. This is uh, a special coffee we made for them. Please support local charities. Every penny you buy of the found coffee, um, Costa Rica La Pastoria, is going straight to local charities helping with COVID-19 related issues. Um, so this is a joint project we're doing with found coffee. So um, help us help you kind of sort of thing. And that's it for us today, as always. Um, oh, here we go, one more question. Have you seen all those whipped drinks? Yes, we did a whole thing on the whipped drinks already. Um, the Dalgona coffee, if you Go to our blog or our YouTube channel. We did a whole bunch of different ways of making Dalgona coffee with matcha and hojicha and all these different variations on it. Um, so fire away. Check that out. We've done it. Um, it's pretty awesome. And if you have questions, just email me. We'll definitely um, get you some details. Um, but it's on our blog and our, our YouTube channel. Um, so I think that's it for us today. Um, pistachio Rose Latte. Uh, I hope that the, uh, the lady who wanted us to do this can found this useful. Um, how do I make a latte out of Cheetos and chicken broth? Careful what you ask for. I'll figure that out. I will definitely figure out a way of doing it. It won't be a, it'll be a savory latte with some kind of tea. Um, and we will, uh, you want to, I, I don't, I don't, unfortunately we don't sell the Minka aprons. This was a gift, um, but that, that might be something we should make, uh, and sell on our website soon. Um, all right. Well, thanks everyone for, for coming, I guess. Do we say that? Thanks for watching. And we will uh, be back on Tuesday with something new, something fun. And again, if you have any um, suggestions or questions, fire away and shoot us an email, message us on Instagram. We do. We are always um, open to suggestions. Thanks again. And for me and Minko, have a great weekend. We hope everyone's safe. We hope everyone's healthy. And hopefully uh, the end is nigh for this lockdown. Say goodbye.